it's Marilyn McKenna and welcome to another running tutorial. Today we're going to talk about hills. We're outside today because we're at the top of one of the hills that I use on a regular basis for my hills training runs. Running hills is hard work of course but it's really important. It's a way to build leg strength and stamina. Uh, you gain confidence by running hills. I don't like to shy away from a challenge and I like to run races and there are always hills in races, especially where I live and it's a really hilly area. There are just always hills in races. So um, a couple tips before we get started on exactly how I, I uh, run hills, but you want to remain upright as much as possible. Your body kind of upright rather than leaning into the hill. The more you lean into the hill, the more quickly you're going to get fatigued. So uh, try to keep your upper body up as much as possible. And also the idea is to maintain the, a level of in, uh, the same level of intensity um, without trying to maintain your speed. So you will slow down going up a hill. That's just to be expected. It's part of it. Um, but if you maintain the same level of intensity, you won't fatigue as quickly. Um, and this is also where music really helps me. You know, one of my rules for running is um, listen to music you couldn't possibly sit still for. I have specific uh, playlists that I use just for running hills because it is so hard work and I, I want it to be my, my best mu music, my favorite music. So, um, you know, hills are hard. They're hard physically and they're hard mentally. So I have a couple of um, ways that I kind of get around that. Um, I, what I do is I, I train for them so that I get used to it, my body gets used to it, and then I do give myself a reward <laughs> at the end. So, um, so here's, here's the way I do hills. I pick a hill that's roughly a half a mile long. I will, you know, varying elevations, sometimes easy ones, sometimes hard, sometimes kind of middle of the road. Uh, I'll pick a hill that's about a half a mile long, run up it, down it, up it, down it, up it, down it. It's three miles total, right? So go up three times, down three times. It takes me anywhere, depending on you know how difficult the hill is, anywhere from 25 minutes to about 40 minutes if it's a really steep one. Um, so, so that's how I do it. The reason I do it this way is because most days of the week, my workouts are very hard and um, this is a hard workout but it's not a long workout so on the days that I run hills that's the only thing I do that is the only workout I do so that's part of my reward and then the other part of my reward is I always go to Starbucks afterwards <laughs> so I bring my little Starbucks card with me in my pocket and I, I stop off at, at Starbucks on my way home and reward myself that way you know it's 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 hard enough working out it's really helpful to build in some 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 incentives to do it and so that's the way I do it um, running hills is not something that I want to shy away from it's something that I like to attack head-on but I gotta I gotta find ways ways to make it kind of quick and dirty um, and and a little bit easier on myself and then build in that reward so give it a go I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I do thanks everybody bye bye